It's so cold. I need to, I need to put on a sweater. <laughs> okay. Better. I am back with a book video. Woohoo! I'm really excited for this one because I love filming and editing book videos. So today I'm gonna show you guys a bookshelf tour of my wonderful bookshelf back here and also what's on the top of this. So let's just get into the video because I don't want to make this intro too long. I'm gonna start by showing you this part, this top part of the bookshelf. So. This is the first part right beside my head when I sleep. So this wooden thing is from a store called Tiger, I think, Tegad. If you're Scandinavian, maybe you know what that is, but I don't think they sell this one anymore. It's like one and a half years old, I think, but it doesn't matter. That's not what we're talking about. So first we have this candle from Rituals. Uh, I don't know what it's called or what it smells like, but it smells good. I usually have like a thousand elastics for my hair here and then I usually just have painkillers kind of is that what it's called painkillers I think here then here we have <laughs> this little reading light that I kind of DIY'd because this used to be a reading light if you read you know like what kind of reading light this is but this stopped working after like three days <laughs> this is usually you put on your backpack so that people can see you in the dark but uh, I put it on this one so that I can use it when I read <laughs> then I have this fidget thing that I got from my sister like you know when fidget toys were like a really big thing? And then, the story about this one, this candle sucks. I don't like this candle, and it doesn't smell anything. It's supposed to be a scented candle, but it's not a scented candle. And <laughs> I broke it. I don't even remember how I broke it, but I broke it, and now it looks like this, and it's literally in pieces. Behind this, we have my rings, and then... Depending on which book I'm reading, right now I'm reading Daisy Jones and the Six, but the book I'm reading is always here. So, do you like my bookmark? It's like a unicorn hairpin thing. Next to it, I have this little jar container thing with an avocado sticker on it. And it has my guitar picks in it. So, when I need one, when I'm playing my guitar in bed, usually I just reach for this. And then next to that one, I have this, which is for my braces. And they're just there, and they're supposed to taste like uh, raspberry, but they don't. They don't taste like anything. <laughs> and then here, like across from that, I have all my rings. And then under this, I have just hair pins and mini elastics and, you know, stuff like this. So that's what's in this. And then I have some bookmarks and I always have my water bottle because they hydrated and you know I need my water bottle that's my keyboard above my synth or keyboard or whatever you want to call it I have this little poster that I think is really cool because this is this was my Christmas present and I got it from my whole family like my whole family got together and bought this for me um, and I'm super excited because this was how my mom told me that I was going to see Niall for the first time and we were going to Star Festival, which he's playing the 6th of July, 2023. And if you know me, you probably know that Niall is my favorite person on the whole entire planet. So... I cried, to say the least. I cried when I found out that I was seeing him. Obviously, I need to put it up. It's now time to show you my bookshelf. And this whole bookshelf is from Ikea. It's called, I think, Kalox. I can put it here. This is the my bookshelf. It's from Ikea. I used to have this standing up against my... Actually, up against the end of my bed. Let me show you a little video of me 
the last time I redid my bookshelf so that you can see how they used to be. what they used to look like uh, but now I have them laying on my floor but in this little square I have vinyls and CDs first I have the best of ABBA you know if you don't know what ABBA is you've been living under a rock so I love this one this cost me 50 or in dollars it's five dollars it was five dollars in like a, a thrift somewhere I don't know then next I have this one I haven't played it I don't know who this is but I started collecting vinyls two years ago and I thought this was an ice cube obviously isn't it's some dude that my dad used to listen to I tried to listen to the songs on this vinyl on Spotify and I didn't like his music so I don't know why I still have this but I do this is a circle song Österradus uh, there are four songs on this one. That's like my, I have three sections for my vinyl. So this is like my random ones. And then here are like the complete collection of all of this one artist music, if you know what I mean. So starting with Harry, I have Ages One, Harry Styles, self-titled album. Uh, I, I just have the black pressing and then I have fine line by the way uh, the Harry Styles I just won uh, like self-titled uh, I bought that from a record store in Oslo uh, but this I actually bought from Harry's website so this is fine line and it's not a limited edition it's just the normal black pressing this I also bought from Harry's website and this is Harry's house also just the normal black pressing I was supposed to get the sea glass one I think it is I was staying up and I was like okay at 0000 on the 1st of April I'm gonna get the sea glass pressing because I knew it would sell out but stupid me didn't think about time difference so Sigrid Sucker Punch Normal Black Pressing got this from a friend, but she bought it also from a record store. Is that what it's called? Vinyl Store? Record Store in Oslo. Not the company if you're from Norway. This is just like the little thing that the vinyl's in. This outside thing kind of, you know, is actually framed. I can show you. Where is it? This is it, and it's framed because it's signed by Sigrid. Also, I was at the album release concert at Oslo Spectrum, the 6th of May, if you didn't know. And I miss it very much, and it's almost been a year, and I'm very sad. Go to my Instagram and scroll down a little on my page, and then you can see what happened at that concert, too. This is actually not standard black, standard black pressing. This is, it looks like red, but it's like, like orange kind of things in there. But it's very much red. I don't know if it can, you can see it that good on camera, but if you look at it from here, it's super dope, so. Also, if my voice is a little weird, that's because I'm starting to get sick again. So that was that little section of my vinyl shelf and then we're starting this section and this section is where I have like artists where I don't have uh, their whole discography discography yeah. so I have donkey boy caught in the life and I think this is so cool because this album contains like my first two favorite songs in my life like when I was two I was singing these the first songs that I ever learned in my whole entire life so I think this is so cool to have on vinyl. Walls. Walls by Louis Tomlinson. Also standard black pressing. 
bought it in Plot Company, Norwegian record store. Love, love, love. Then I have my baby. Now, Heartbreak Weather. Favorite album of his. I love Flickr too though, don't get me wrong. Trying to find Flickr all over the freaking world. He's not selling it on his website at the moment and it's not for sale in any record stores and I can't find it anywhere. So, trying to find Flickr at the moment, but one of my favorite albums of all time, uh, Heartbreak Weather. Got it for my birthday and I cried when I saw it. Standard black pressing. Next to my vinyls here, I have some of my CDs and my one cassette that I have. This is also How to Let Go by Sigrid on cassette. I don't have a cassette player, so I can't play it. I think it's pretty cool to have, though. And it's also one of my favorite albums. It's such a good album. Go listen to it right now if you haven't. And then I have this CD, which I bought at the Tommy X... Oslo or OTBX Oslo concert last year, a year ago soon, met my best friend there, by the way, Ian Lee, shout out to you, and it's signed by Tommy, and it's like unreleased songs, love. And then under that I have some CDs, so I have Up All Night, One Direction, nothing special with it, but it's Up All Night, and then Take Me Home, nothing special with it, it's Take Me Home, <laughs> love. Midnight Memories, gonna get this in vinyl too. Uh, Midnight Memories, nothing special, but it's Midnight Memories, so. And then I have Green Day, don't really listen to Green Day, but the songs I've heard I've loved, so I have it. And then I have ACDC, Back in Black, all, like, don't really listen to ACDC either, but like, Legends, so. And then I have Black Sheep which is pretty dope because if you are from Norway or I think they played like kids Eurovision or something in 2008 but they won MGP Junior in 2008 and I l used to love their songs when I was like four so I have this which is cool and then down here I have this basket, really cute one, bought it from Ikea. This is the basket if you want to buy it. Uh, I have Lego friends in this. Because <laughs> I'm a child. I love Lego friends, okay? Don't judge me. So I have this basket and it's completely full and I love Lego friends. Here, this is my yellow, orange, and red bookshelf kind of thing. So here I have A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. The Elite. This is the Norwegian ver version and I don't know what it's called in English, but it's the second one. And then I have Maybe in Another Life by Taylor Jenkins Reid. And then I have If I Can't Have You by Charlotte Levine. And then I have uh, Hood Hara by Gulurai Sharif. I don't know if that's how you say it. Correct me if I'm wrong. I might be wrong. Daisy Jones and the Six usually is here, but since I'm reading that at the moment, I've filled this, this space with uh, my Harry's House CD. And then I have this really cool kind of lamp, which I can turn it on. Love. Got that from my mom. And then I have The Unhoneymooners by Christine Lauren and The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. Haig? Haig. I don't know how to pronounce that name. But this, you can see it. Under here, I have my pink books. I don't know if this is focusing, but that's fine. So I have It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. And then I have One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston. And then Love on the Brain by Al Ali Hazelwood. And then I have a little rainbow flag here because obviously. And then I have a little rainbow uh, circle thing that was supposed to be around a rainbow <laughs> Saturn Christmas decoration thing. But it broke so I just can't kept the rainbow thing and I put it around this plant because I think it's so cute. And then I have Red, Bi Red, White and Royal Blue by Case McQuiston. And then I have Funny You Should Ask by Liz Sussman. 
I love this book, by the way. I gave it 4.5 stars, I believe, or 4.75, maybe. I think I gave it 4.5. And I also read It Ends With Us, and I gave that 4.5, I believe, I think. And then uh, I Kissed Sarah Wheeler by Casey McQuiston. And then I have these two, which are not really pink, but I feel like they fit here. Uh, I have Beach Read by Emily Henry. Read this, rated it for 4.5. Loved it. Uh, read it this summer. Uh, go read it if you haven't. And then I have Book Lovers by Emily Henry, which I want to read soon because I want to read Book Lovers and People We Meet on Vacation before I read Happy Place, which comes out 25th of April, I think. Yeah. Here I have my white and black books. Can we just not think about how I look right now? Thank you very much. I'm at my cabin in the mountains. But I just wanted to say something. My sister's looking at me weird. I just wanted to say something. You can see those... Uh... What's it called? Funko Pop figures that I have on the top of my black books. Those are the only two I have. And I don't know where they sell more Marvel ones. So tell me if you guys know where they sell more Marvel ones. If you're my friend and you're seeing this, just text me or something. but uh, Or leave a comment if you know. Because um, I really want to buy more. I only have those two. So I have... A Thousand Boy Kisses by Tilly Cole, and then I have Confess by Colleen Hoover. Then I have One of Us is Lying by Karen, Ma Karen McManus. Is that how you say it? Read this, gave it 3 out of 5. Didn't love it, but I liked it. And I liked the end of it. The first 150 pages sucked. <laughs> then I have the sequel to that, One of Us is Next. By Kara McManus, then I have The Cruel Prince by Holly Black, which I think I'm going to love, and I started it. I'm like 40 pages in, but that was two years ago, so I'm definitely starting that all over again since I haven't read it in probably two years. Or I actually tried to start it again a year ago, but that did not happen. Here I have Chaos Walking, but in Norwegian. I read like 200 pages of this, but did not like it because I watched the movie. <laughs> But I have Kids Walking by Patrick Ness. And then I have uh, You Had Me at Hello by Mahari McFarlane or something. I can't pronounce this name. But started this book. Think I'm loving it. But I haven't finished it yet. But I'm going to. Uh, and then I have More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera. And then I have The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. And I read this book uh, a year ago. I rated it 4.5 out of 5. But I think I'm going to rate it 4.7. No kidding. I rated it 5 out of 5. But it's not a 5 star for me. It's a 4.75. But I did love this book. Like very much. Then I have After by Anna Todd, and then I have Looking for Alaska by John Green. And then on the side here, I have a comic book, uh, which is Age of Ultron, uh, like Avengers Age of Ultron, Marvel. Uh, and here I have Ned, like a Funko Pop of Ned. And then I have Monica Rambo. I think that's how you pronounce it. Love this very much. Okay, so above my black and white shelf, I have my green shelf. Here I have People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. I have Smaragd Atlase by John Stevens, but it's the Norwegian version, uh, obviously, since I said the Nor Norwegian title. And then I have Siege and Stormer, Sage and Stormer, whatever. I don't know how to pronounce this, but from the Shadow and Bone trilogy uh, by... Le Bardugo? Is that how you pronounce it? Probably not. But that one, and then I have Twisted Lies by Anna Hong, which is number four in the Twisted series. So I'm a little bit fucked with that one. I kind of need the first one to see if I like the other ones, but I'm, I think my friend has it, so I'm going to borrow it from her. On top of those books, I have this really... Dead plant. Not living, to be honest. Uh, but that's fine. It's cute. And then I have Taylor Swift debut. Just sitting in between my books here. I have November 9th by Colleen Hoover. Don't like this cover. I want the other cover, but bought that one. And then I have... This is the Norwegian version. I think if you know the cover, you know the book. 
Uh, this is the first one in the series. And then The Hating Game by Sally Thorne, and they both died at the end. I have read that. I didn't necessarily love it. I think I gave it 3 or 3.5. Don't know, but I read it. It was fine. It's growing on me every day. <laughs> Then my policeman didn't love it. I didn't like it either. I give it two stars. Uh, but I watched the movie and the movie was amazing. So last but not least, here we have my blue shelf. I have Reminders of Him by Colleen who loved this book. Gave it 4.5, I believe. This is better than it ends with us. I really like this. And then I have The Therikos of Neda Ali. And then I have The Love Hypothesis by Ali Hazelwood. Loved this book. Think I give it five stars. Yeah, this is a five star for me. And uh, I'm going to annotate it. I'm going to reread it and annotate it. I love this book so much. <sighs> Adam Carlson, everyone. Adam Carlson. Okay, thank you. And then I have We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. Also read this one. I think I gave it 4 or 3.5. Uh, I hated the ending, but I liked it. I just didn't necessarily love it, but I liked it a lot, actually. And then Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover. And then All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niveen. Is that how you say it? Niven? Niveen? I don't know. And then I have actually watched the movie for this book. I just haven't read the book yet, and I really love the movie. Probably one of my favorite movies. And since Finch loves to take pictures, I, or at least he does in the movie, put a camera that doesn't work here. Then I have a CD. I tend to, like, put CDs in between my books, but I have this... Elvis Gold CD with uh, lots of like the best of El the best by Elvis. Uh, so I have that, and then I have a Donald Pocket book, I believe, or something. I've had this since like fifth grade. So, <laughs> and then I have History Is All You Left Me by Adam Silvera, Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover, Call Me by Your Name by Andre A. Man, I, can't, I can't pronounce this, but call me by her name. And then Shadow and Bone by Leigh Barduga. First book in the Shadow and Bone trilogy. And then below that, I have another one of these baskets. And, and here I have Christmas books, because I don't want to look at Christmas books when it's not Christmas. And then I have bunch of old school books so I've written in like all of these all my school notebooks that I've had since fourth or third grade that ladies and gentlemen was my whole bookshelf this was my bookshelf tour hope you liked the video if you watched the video this far I love you and I'll see you in another video hopefully yeah Goodbye everyone, I'm gonna go to bed now, goodbye.